Alright, this is a first time playthrough of Undertale. This is the fourth episode of the series. If you haven't seen the last three, there's going to be a link to the playlist in the description of the video. And, uh... Yeah, uh, I'm so good at intros. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was, like, a totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off all the elevators now. Ugh. Even if the elevators aren't working anyways, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Alright, what's in here? Oh, it's dark. Look, Mom, I'm on TV. It's amazing. It's you. It is me. Hooray. Oh, I can't move. Oh, what is that? No, actually, what is that? Is that a dinosaur? Oh, uh, oh, oh my God. I, I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I have I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um... <laughs> Hiya, I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist, but but I uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've um been observing your journey through my console. Oh, you have been stalking me. Why is everybody in the in this underground area stalking me? What the heck? Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an ed entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-human anti combat features. Uh, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. D did you hear something? What is that? Oh, it's the death robot. Oh no. Oh yes! Welcome, beauties! To today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! Never played before? Gorgeous? No problem! It's simple! There's only one rule! Answer correctly! Or you die! Holy cow, 255 defense! Let's start with an easy one! What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh... Mercy! You wish wrong! The Twiz Show continues! Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Correct! What a terrific answer! Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Too easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one for you! Two trains, train A... okay. Screw it. Oh my god, it worked! Wonderful! I'm astounded, folks! Don't count on your victory! How many flies are in this jar? Too many! Let's play memory game! What monster is this? Oh, uh, that's a frogget. Boy, that's embarrassing, huh? The twist show continues! That was completely unfair. Even the robot knows that. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah! Great answer! I love it! Here's a simple one! How many letters in the name Metatron? In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie- Oh, oh I know this one, it's snail ice cream! In the fourth chapter, everyone goes and- Okay, she's talking too fast for me to actually read this out loud. Alphys, Alphys, Alphys! You aren't helping the contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me! I'll ask a question! You'll be sure to know the answer to! Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? I feel like don't know isn't gonna be the right answer. And the and it's not gonna be the human. Screw it, Asgore. Wait, it is! Why would someone outfit an amusement robot? 
with her brutal combat capabilities. Simple. To impress Mr. Asgore Dreamer, of course. Or as Alphys calls him, Mr. Dreamy. Those strong arms, that lustrous beard. Like all those who create weapons, she craves the tender emba embrace of a burly man. Can she truly be blamed? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But... But... This was just the pilot episode! Next up, more drama! More romance! More bloodshed! Until next time, darlings! And he's just turning into a rocket. What just happened? Even she doesn't know what just happened. That, that last question, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Uh, what? Where do you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! Wait a second, please. This is the second time in a row that these grown adults are giving what I'm assuming is a five-year-old a cell phone. And this time it's not even like a calling cell phone, like a full-on cell phone. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain for the five-year-old to choke on. I even signed you up for the underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends, hee hee hee. Heh <laughs> It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Alphys updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Sad face. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Now I gotta call up the human and guide them. Oh my god, this lady updates her status every five seconds and it notifies me every time. Gonna call them in a minute. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this limo. Oh my god, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Stop updating your status and call me, you stupid dinosaur. Ring. Uh, hi. So, the blue lasers. Uh, I mean, Alphys here, hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. I know that. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving. And they, um, they won't, um, move through those ones. Bye. Oh my god, I did it! Claws haven't looked like that since Undyne called me to ask me about the weather. <laughs> so these ones, we have to move through them or they hurt. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? Oh my, stop that. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. Shut up. I don't need your help. I've never been more annoyed with a dinosaur in my life. Uh, Alphys here? The, the northern door will stay locked until you- I'm gonna kill this person the closest chance I get. Solve the puzzles on the right and left. I- I think you should g g go to the right first. Oh my- I'm killing this dinosaur. I should have killed the last one and I'm definitely killing this one. Uh, I think, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and the right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but the, uh, you already solved them? Awesome! Yeah, we don't need your help, dinosaur lady. I'm killing you the first opportunity I get, just so you know. Updated current status. About to go kill a dinosaur, because she won't stop updating her status. Um. I'm scared. Why is it dark? Ring. Hey, it's kind of dark in here, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll hack into the light system and brain it up. Oh my god, it's a kitchen. Oh no. Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties, to the Underground Premier Cooking Show! Preheat your ovens, because we've got a very special recipe for you today! We're going to be making... a cake! My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients! Everyone give them a big hand! We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs! Go for it, sweetheart! Perfect! Great job, beautiful! We've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake! Milk, sugar, eggs... Oh my! Wait a magnificent moment! How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient! A human soul! Oh, oh that's not good. Um... It's not letting me run? Oh. Ring! Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. W wait a second! Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? Vegan. Uh, well, I mean... That's a brilliant idea, Alphys! Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. He just has that lying around. What does a human soul taste like? That's the question I want to know. A can of which is just over on that counter. 
Why is the counter all the way over here? Well, darling, why don't you go get it? All right, we're gonna do go do that. What the heck? What? By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. Oh no, there's just not enough time to, to climb up. Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jet... Oh, wait, we have a jetpack? Wait, our phone is a jetpack. What the heck? Why is my cell phone a jetpack? You should have enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. We got to the top. It seems you've bested me. But only because you had the help of a brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I loathe to think of what would have happened to you without her. Oh, yes. About the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Wow, we... we did it. We... we really did it. Great job out there, team. What do you mean, team? You gave me a jetpack and then I did all the work. S see that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power in the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to go. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Hey, isn't it weird that there's snow on that guy's roof? I guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. How is there? We're in a volcano right now. Hello, Sands. Hey, buddy. What's up? Want to buy a hot dog? All right, we have a we have a hot dog made of water sausages. There's an apron lying on the ground. A stained apron. How much defense does that give us? 11. And heals 1 HP every other turn. That's actually... Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going to kill that dinosaur. I don't care how helpful she is. I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be at MIA for a bit. I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Aren't you helping me via cell phone? Oh my god, don't think it ruins Mimi's entire character. Oh my god, I don't care about- I don't care about your TV. Stop! How do I block her? How do I block this lady? Hey! You! Stop! Oh, it's the knights. We've, like, recently received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. Yeah, I know. Sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Huh? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing? Like, what about it? Oh, no, they're catching on. Bro. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is, like, mega embarrassing. We, like actually totally have to kill you whoa super critical hit there okay i'm back another dark room huh don't worry my hacking skills have got things covered we're gonna have to oh no oh yes good evening beauties and gentle beauties this is metaton reporting live from mtt news an interesting situation has arisen in eastern hotland fortunately our correspondent is out there reporting live brave correspondent please find something newsworthy to report our 10 wonderful viewers are waiting for you all right let's see what's over here oh it's dog what a sensational opportunity for a story I can see the headline now. A dog exists somewhere. Frankly, I'm blown away. Attention, viewers. Our correspondent has found a dog. That's right, folks. The feel-good story of the year. Look at its little ears. Tiny paws. Fluffy tail. Wait a second. That's not a tail. That's a fuse. That's right. That dog is a bomb. But don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. Oh, God. It, it's just a bunch of nukes. What? Everything in this room is explosive, isn't it? Oh my! It seems everything in this area is actually a bomb! That present's a bomb! That basketball's a bomb! Even my words are! Brave correspondent, if you don't defuse all of the bombs, this big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes! Then you won't be reporting live for any longer! How terrible! How disturbing! Our nine viewers are going to love watching this! Good luck, darling! Don't worry, I installed a bomb diffusing program on your phone. Why did Alphys install not only a jetpack, but a bomb diffusing program to the, our cell phone? Like, for what reason did we need this technology? Is this a common occurrence? Is this just an everyday ordinary situation in Hotland? They're just diffusing bombs on the daily? To the point where you need to have an app for it on your phone? Use the diffuse option when the bomb is in the diffuse zone. Now, go get them! Oh, we did it! Oh, well done, darling! You've deactivated all of the bombs! If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes! Now, it won't explode in two minutes! 
Instead, it'll explode in two seconds. Goodbye, darling. Ah, it seems the bomb isn't going off. That's because while you were monologuing, I... 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 I changed- You deactivated the the bomb with your hacking skills! Yeah, that's what I did. Curses! It seems I've been foiled again! Curse you, human! Curse you, Dr. Alphys, for helping so much! But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in! Until next time, darling! Wow, we- we really showed him. Huh, I mean, kind of? More so, I showed him, and then you stopped him from blowing me up. Hey, I- I know I was kind of weird at first, but I really think I'm getting more, uh, more- more confident about guiding you. Sure. He's gonna guide us to, into a death trap, isn't she? So don't worry about that big dumb robot. I'll protect you from him. And if it really came down to it, we could just t turn, um, never mind. Oh, she's gonna turn us in. He's gonna turn us in. No. Let's just find a save point before we get backstabbed. Um, I notice you've been kind of quiet. Are you worried about meeting Asgore? Well, don't worry, okay? The, the king is, is a really nice guy. I'm sure you can talk to him, and within your human soul, you can pass through the barrier. So, no worrying, okay? Just... Forget about it and smile. Wait, are we gonna go to the king without actually killing the robot? Welcome to our parlor, dearie. Interested in some spider pa- Oh my god, it's the spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. What's this? I- I- I ended up buying a donut. I- I- I didn't want to, but that girl, even though I told her no, she kept staring at me in this creepy way and licking her lips. N now I'm out of cash. Oh, so she's gonna attack us if we don't buy anything. Oh, she's a boss fight. No, we have to fight a spider. I don't want to. This room is like the room we saw before. There are two puzzles to the north and south. You'll have to solve them both to proceed. Also, I'd like to say, I don't really like giving away puzzle solutions. But if you need help, just call me, okay? Actually, wait, I have an idea. Let's be friends on Undernet. Then you can just ping me when you need help. You've been reading my posts the whole time. Well, I hope you agree with me about Mew Mew 2. Uh, no, actually, I'm becoming increasingly murderous as you post about it more. Hey, this, um, doesn't have anything to do with guiding you, but... Uh, hey, would you want to watch a human TV show together sometime? It's called, um, Mew Mew Kissy Chitty. Okay. No, not really. That's okay. Just thought I'd ask. But I think you'd really like it if you gave it a chance. Yeah, we're not watching TV. We're trying to murder an innocent king who wants nothing more than to save his people from damnation. Like, we don't have time for this. I do hope we find a save point soon, because I am running low on health. Speak of the devil. Smell of cobwebs? Oh, no. Don't make me do a spider boss battle. I hate spiders. Did you hear what they just said? No. They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I... I... One of those things is true. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. I... No. That's just... No. I heard that they're awfully stingy with their mu- no, I knew it! I knew it! She's killing us because we didn't spend $9,000 on donuts. You think your taste is too refined for our pastries, do you, dearie? Oh, I disagree with that notion. I think your taste... It's exactly what this next batch needs. <laughs> what is that thing? What is actually? As far as spider bosses go, that's probably the least intimidating one I've ever seen. Oh, she wants us to bribe her. Why so pale? You should be proud. Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. <laughs> no, we're going to murder this spider thing. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. No. Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce to my pet. What is that? The person who warned us about you offered us a lot of money for your soul. Okay, so wait. Wait, I was right. Alphys is betraying us. They're paying people to get, come and stop us. Pours you a cup of spiders. Jeez. This thing needs to die. We're not showing mercy to a spider. We're gonna, we're gonna kill it. It's strange, but I swore I saw them in the shadows. Changing shape. Oh, it's lunchtime, isn't it? And I forgot to feed my pet. Right, I'm actually losing a lot of health here. With that money, the spider clans can finally be reunited. You haven't heard? Spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations. That's good. Even if they go under the door, Snowden's fatal cold is impassable alone. But with the money from your soul, we'll be able to rent a heated limo. That's the plan. But enough of that. It's time for dinner, isn't it? It's so fast. It's like Crossy Road, but higher stakes and 
scary. You're still alive. Looks like it's time for dessert. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in ruins? What? They're saying that they saw you and you helped donate to their cause? That Yes, that is something that I intentionally did because I love spiders, definitely. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul, they must have meant a different human in a striped shirt. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pets again. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll spare you now. You're gonna spare us, huh? I don't think so. Oh my god! Why did that last hit do so much damage? What the heck? Jeez! Yeah, that's what I thought. You better run. Oh, they're bringing a flower. Oh, that's kind of sad. Screw you, game, for making me feel bad about a spider.